Hey there, my sweet friends. We are live and we are on Facebook and YouTube at the same time. And we are going to make a really fun um, farmhouse style messy bow. I hope you're as excited as I am to see how it turns out. I think it's only going to take us like five minutes flat, but I'm going to point the camera down just to kind of get us a little bit closer in view of the actual process. So if you are new to me, welcome, welcome. I'm just going to pick up this little spot. This is my Wednesday kind of regular thing I'll be doing, which is making a bow together. So as you hop on, say hello to me. Let me know where you're watching from and if it's hot where you are today. I am super curious. So let's see here. We're going to use this uh, fabric from the Dollar Tree along with um, some more fabrics from the Dollar Tree. Now, uh, the part that is so amazing about a messy bow is that you cannot mess it up. Don't you love things that you cannot mess up? I'm just going to tear this real quick. Boom. That simple, that easy. Then I'm going to take this second uh, piece of fabric from the Dollar Tree. Whoops. It's not opening. I hate to use my fabric scissors for this, but let's just be real. I got to get this opened and going. You guys let me know you can hear me well. Hey, Christine, I'm so glad you're on here today. I'm gonna cut this right down. I'm just cutting just random square pieces. Now for a lot of people that will make you crazy to know that it's not an exact measurement, but I'm just really getting our pieces of fabric together to create this really, really easy five second bow but I thought it would be fun to make it kind of farmhouse style. What do you think of this one? I absolutely love it. Oh, thanks, Ma Marie, Ma Maureen. Thank you so much for letting me know. She says she can hear me great. And that is always really helpful when you're given a tutorial that your audio is working. And you know, if you followed me for a while, you know I have struggled with getting that audio to work. Now here's where I'm getting a little bit of stuck so I need to see if you guys can help me out. We're gonna add one more pattern to our messy bow. And uh, so we've got the regular trucks. We've got the um, kind of farmhouse home gather pitcher sign. Then we have the farmhouse trucks with the daisies. Do you think I should add for our basic pattern the gray and white buffalo check? Welcome, Michelle. Or the gray and white ticking fabric. You guys let me know which one you think I should add to what we have here. Originally, I was thinking the buffalo check, then I saw the ticking and thought, well, maybe that would look good. Or do you think we should add a little bit of both? Be sure to uh, chime in and let me know what you think. Okay, Missy saying ticking, Marla saying ticking. Pam says Buffalo check. Good morning, Miss Rosa. How are you? I'm glad you're here. Christine is joining us from YouTube. Hi there. You like the thin lined one. I love it. That is the ticking. That is the ticking. And Maureen says Buffalo check. So here's what I think I'll do. I'll go ahead and just add a little bit of both because now that I think about it, the more the merrier on a messy bow. I mean, you can't, again, it's supposed to be a creative bow. You really can't mess it up. You just want to make sure that you're aware of your patterns and that you think that they go well together. And as long as you've got that situated, you should be good. And I'm just taking the, you know, lines that they already have for me mapped out to make it really, really easy to create these squares. Let me get this last one. I'm loving this charcoal gray piece. Here we go. And it's okay if there's a little bit of um, selvage, I guess is what it's called. Selvage, S-E-L-V-A-G-E. -E. Um, you can kind of see it right here. Do you see those little dots? That's okay. It's not going to hurt a thing. This is just a fun bow. All right, so next thing we're gonna do is cut our strips. 
and I'm going to actually kind of uh, put them all together to make the notches. And we're just going to make, for those of you who like to measure, about one inch strips across our entire pieces of fabric at the top. And it doesn't matter which end, just pick an end and go for it. I'm kind of lining them up a little bit. So I got all of them lined up and I'm just going to cut my little notches. Again, I am just eyeballing it, but it's going to be about an inch. Okay. And then I'm just going to take each one now that I have these notches and I'm just going to rip. This is the fun part. If you've never made one of these bows, it is super addicting because you can get out all of your frustrations, you know, the heat, the gas prices, all the things that make you crazy and just get this messy bow therapy on telling you all the things that make you want to scream. You just kind of get that out with ripping your fabric. It is so fun. You guys, um, Shelly, hello, my sweet friend. Hello, Lisa Peterson Brown and Sheila. Welcome. Glad to see you, Christina. You're so, so bad at bows. Oh, Christina, you can totally do this. You can totally do this. I promise. This is like the fastest, easiest bow ever. And we are on our last piece. So this is the little pieces of um, not fabric from the Dollar Tree that we've cut notches out on. And I am just ripping down the notches. Um, super easy. So now I have my mess up here. This is my, my messy bow in waiting, right? I'm going to go ahead and grab me a zip tie. I forgot to grab a zip tie because we put it all together with a fancy zip tie here. So I'm just going to start laying these out, not a huge particular order, just kind of getting them put out here. And you can definitely get these strings off of here as you go and kind of make yourself a little pile. Once you have this kind of designed how you want it, you're going to just repeat that pattern over and over until you've used up all of your fabric. Boom. This will be our pattern. And it doesn't have to be the exact same repeat. If you forget, like sometimes I'll get in a hurry. Oops, this one's upside down. Sometimes I'll get in a hurry and then I'm like, Oh wait, I just did that one. It's okay. It's okay. Again, it's a messy bow. It's supposed to be just creative expression, just something that you do because you either have scrap fabric or you have a cute project that you want to embellish. And I know I've already kind of messed up my pattern, but it's okay. It is okay. There's enough things to stress about than to stress about your messy bow. So we're going to just keep going, keep going. Now, my favorite thing is to make some of these and put them on your Christmas tree. I know a lot of creatives did a Christmas in July uh, type of projects, which I did put some over on the blog for us. But um, this is a fun one to add to Christmas signs or um, I know I'm messing up my pattern big time. <laughs> Y'all, it's not easy to chat and create at the same time. So, okay. Rosa, the fabric is from the Dollar Tree. Thank you for helping me answer questions. That is always super, super duper helpful. And sometimes you might get halfway through your flopping down of the fabric and be like, you know, this is, this is enough. Like, I, I feel like this is enough. And you might just stop right there with your, um, with adding your ribbons. But you can certainly put as much or as little on here as you like. Just know that the more you use, it's going to be the bigger your bow. And then I'm going to show you how I like to finish these off. Now, I don't always finish them off the exact same way, but um, sometimes it's a surprise to me. I'm like, oh, 
I guess I, I guess I will do that to this one. So a lot of times, if you follow me for a while, if you haven't if you haven't subscribed yet to my YouTube channel and you're watching me over there, if you would hit that little subscribe button as well as as well as the notification bell, you will totally get notified every time I do a new video. It's automatic. YouTube is fabulous about doing that for me. Um, over on Facebook, if you hit that follow button, then you um, should get a notification from Facebook. But I'm telling you, a lot of the times you do not. I do have a text list, but I don't send out one every single time. Like today, I'm in a bit of a rush, so I was not able to put out a reminder. But I can typically go back. And um, so I'm not going to use these last four or five little ones, but I just want to kind of show you, show you where the term messy bow comes from. It's this mess. Do you see this mess of strings? It is crazy pants, like a lot. Hey, my friend, Amy, I'm so glad you're on here. So she is my sweet friend from Chateau Chic DIY. If you want to see some fun things, go check her out. So this is uh, just a regular zip tie, and I'm just gonna kind of fish it underneath here. Um, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Find me an opening over on the other end. Doesn't really matter, just somewhat across from each other like this. And I'm gonna kind of get the, um, the zip started. It's a little off-centered right now, but that's okay. We're gonna flip it over. Looks like I even missed a piece, that's fine. I'm just gonna shove it back in there. Missed another piece. So now I have all of this hanging off of my zip tie. I'm gonna go ahead, get it how I want it and tighten it all the way down. So now that it is tight all the way down, I'm going to pull this up from the bottom like a bouquet and I'm gonna trim it. So this is how we add to our mess. So if the strings weren't enough, we are adding ribbon, I mean fabric, fabric strips off the top. Now this is totally optional. You can leave yours, um, all the different levels, but I like to even off my top of my messy bow and get it kind of more like a pom-pom, which pom-poms are super popular too. And these are really cute bows to add to gifts super easy and it looks like you you went to a lot of trouble although you didn't because this is just one of those super easy so now i've gotten this all trimmed up i'm going to just kind of shake it off like that look at this mess you guys how fun we have a mess here we have a mess here add it all together you've got your messy bow okay so here's our bow i'm just kind of shaking it shaking it out opening it up. It's kind of big and fluffy. It looks like a rag bow. I'm going to actually sh uh, shave this down a little bit more. So what are you guys planning on doing the rest of the week? I love to go back. My favorite thing to do when we're running errands is my husband drive and me look at your comments. I like to come back and see what all you said to me, where you said you're going this week, what you have on your agenda. My husband's birthday was yesterday and we went and celebrated um, at a fun restaurant in McKinney. If you are local to me in Texas, you know where that is. Okay, I decided to give it a major haircut. So now this is what I have. Look at this sweet, messy bow, isn't it precious? Okay, so I'm calling it farmhouse because of the patterns. You've got the ticking, you've got the trucks, you've got the sunflowers and the little flower pots. Now, a lot of times I will take a piece of um, bling is what we call it, and I will glue it to the center and make my messy bow a little bit more fancy, fancy pants. Um, or sometimes I'll take a button or some other piece of um, embellishment and add it to um, the center here with just a little dab of hot glue or if it's a piece of jewelry, I can always pin it on there as well. You will do some yard work. Oh, Pam, how awesome. I'll, I will tell him happy birthday. Okay, so this is my messy bow. 
I hope you love it. I hope that you will make one of these for yourself. I'm gonna hold it up here for my YouTubes. Ha <laughs> ha, hold on, let me get it straight. You guys, these are the hands down easiest ones you will ever, ever make. Have fun with them, make them your own. Let me show you some I've made. This is my um, tie dye one. It's got the little B on it. This is one I made back in Easter. It has a little bit of denim fabric, all the things. It's got some white buffalo, I mean buffalo, burlap. There's some burlap on here. So you can just get fancy pants creative. Oh, this is a really fun one. This was a layered one. We added some deco mesh to the back to raise it up a little. And it's got a bumblebee. How cute is this? I love this one too. So anyway, I hope you guys love, love, love making my famous messy bow and using it on all sorts of decor. Um, I'll try to put this on a piece of decor and show you guys later. So until next time, I love you guys. Mwah. Stay creative.